Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma Reviews. I hope you're all well and I hope you are having a lovely week. So, um, I wasn't planning on buying anything from Killstar, but if you remember on my last one, I did say that there was the cushion that I wanted to buy. And they had a sale on, guys, and it was 30% off. Bearing in mind, because the cushion is back in stock, so to speak, that didn't go on the sale thing. So I paid full price for the cushion. Otherwise, if it had 30% off, I would have got it. But I think it was just 30% off the clothing, not off the um, homeware. Because they do do different things, don't they? Right, so I'm going to be doing simply be with this one as well guys because i have got a couple of items from simply be and i thought i'll just do it in with this because yeah it just saves me having to do a small little video cushion it was the only cushion left that i wanted to get and it's been sold out for ages and ages so obviously i couldn't get it but it came back in stock i spotted it and i was like oh it's come through when it's my like ban from Killstar, trying to be good, trying to be good, trying to be good and not buy from anywhere. But it's very freaking hard when people send you links or you see people's videos and they pick something up and you're like, oh, I like that. So I got this, guys. It's seventeen ninety nine. Um, it's probably one of the smallest cushions to be honest with you, and I do own. A lot of the cushions, I have the cemetery one, the gravestone one, I've got the book, I've got the ghost here, I've got the pumpkin, I've got the round bat one, I've got the bat one, I've got this one, um, what else have I got? I think that was it, because there's Mueller cushions are from other shops. But yeah, that was that guys, it's nice and soft, nice and holographic. And it's skull and I had to get it because my bedroom is all skull themed so it would have been a crime not to get the one thing that's my bedroom themed. So that was that guys, $17.99, they are in stock now. I got two clothing items. Why? I don't bloody know. I don't know. I don't know why I've got clothing items. I don't need any clothing items, but I bought them. I am the world's worst. Kill star. My bedroom is just covered in bags. I've had my splurge for this month. Next month I'm saving because I'm going to see my kids and I want to be able to go out and, you know, go for something to eat, just a bit of shopping or whatever, with my kids. So, yeah. Right. This is, in fact, let me just take out the order thing. So, Druzy, Druzy Velvet Cushion, one size, $17.99. Yep. Um, this, what I'm going to be pulling out, I think, is the Metallia Tunic. I got an XL stock, XXL, I paid $19.59. It's very heavy, I can tell you that. And it comes with tissue paper and a cool star bag, which I tend to keep for a while, just in case I do manage to, um, you know, sell it for any reason why I didn't wear it. So, um, upon opening it, because as you can tell, I've opened it already, I was like, what the hell? fit me and Ben in there and Zach possibly am I am I seeing this right or is it just the design of it guys because if you think about it <laughs> I'm thinking about it and it looks weird this just sits here and I think what happens is this just sits in the middle like a real nice tunic and then obviously your arms will come out here and then I'm not too sure guys, I'm not too sure about this top, I'm really not too sure about it, maybe when I try it on it'll be different but it it just looks, 
It just looks humongous, like really big. I mean, right. So it'll sit really nicely. I like the way it's just going to hang. And then, I, oh, I, okay. I think these just hang down to the side. That's it. And then your arm can just pull them up. Oh, okay. Okay, I get it. Took me a little while to get that one, didn't it? It says, you will be too much for some people. Those aren't your people. I found a lot of that in my life. And it just says Metallia tunic in black. Um, I'm not going to take the label off this just yet, guys. But I will try it on. If for any reason it makes me look like a dustbin bag. <laughs> and it doesn't make me look very... I don't know. Slender. It's going back. <laughs> but I do love the design. So, yes. Mama Goff would love this, Jules, if you're watching. This is right up your street. So it's got a massive Baphomet on the front and it says Killstar. And I think, is it in an inverted star? I can't really tell because it looks like it's got a star, inverted star, somewhere in the bottom and then it disappears. And then you've got some skulls on there and what looks like some crystals and a little bit of this you see I like the design of the front I like black and red it's my aesthetic as well as black and purple um yeah I'll see what it looks like on guys I'll stick it on the hanger for now and just see if I can get them creases out but nine what did I say 19 pounds something 19.59 not bad you get a whole lot of t-shirt for 19.59 you gotta think of that as well very weird how they made this. Um, yeah, stick that with the rest of my pile of clothing that I've got to try on. Ben's not going to enjoy helping me get into all these. He's going to be really grouchy. <laughs> but he has to help me get dressed because my equipment has not arrived yet. So, I hope. Right, next thing. I seen this and I instantly fell in love with it because you remember way back i did buy a tune like a skirt like a pencil skirt which matched the purple um played checked not checked yeah 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 like played checked um i've got the dress i've got two of the tops and i wanted the skirt to go with the tie top but unfortunately it was way too small and it didn't have an XXL so that idea went out the window they do still sell the black one and it's only just started coming down in price I was torn between the black one and this one but this one was more cheaper ethical nicer this one is the dark wave division mid Smiddy skirt in XXL and I paid $13.98 which I thought was super because I think the other skirt has only gone down to somewhat like maybe £32 or something it was £50 so I'm not quite ready to pay that just yet is a skirt or is it what the hell's going on here then I am not having much success of it today. What the hell? Get under. <laughs> so this must go round your neck. So the way I see it, I think that ties behind your neck and that sits underneath. And it's had quite a high skirt, so I reckon it'll come up here. And it's quite long. And, and it's gold, I like the back of it, I didn't notice that before, it's quite long and it's, I think this was in the military style clothing section that they had, which I wasn't really drawn to it guys, to be honest with you. Oh, what's that? There's thread sticking out, but I'll put my scissors away. Oh, there's a lot of thread sticking out of this, cool stuff. 
Right, so it's got nice silver buttons at the front. But it just looks like they couldn't be bothered to cut the excess um, cotton away. That's just so lazy. Why not cut the excess bit away? Pockets are not actual pockets. They are just for show. And they've got this leatherette strips above it for detail. And alongside the buttons as well. And you can adjust this if you want to make it even shorter and have it as like a pinafore dress kind of thing so that's how it goes it'll be to my knees but if you wanted to raise it higher it could be quite short if you wanted and then at the back it's longer at the back with this little kind of ruffle pleat in it it's got a zip all the way at the back as well and the buttons oh i didn't notice that before but i did now i'm gonna get my scissors they've got baphomets on them how cool is that yeah that button doesn't look like it's here to stay does it <laughs> um, i'm just gonna get the scissors and cut that off because look there's the strings of cotton everywhere on this skirt guys i don't know if this is going to be the polyester material that i'm so used to with shane shane it says rayon i should have known that already because this is rayon i like rayon so it's 72 percent rayon 36 percent nylon two percent elastane and guess what it's made in China, this, guys. That's something that I've, I pointed out the other day. Like, people were, like, moaning about, you know, buying things from China and everything since this whole lockdown thing. But you're still buying from such places as Killstar, and it, they're still made in China anyway, so... Just saying. So there you go. That's that skirt. And there's that top. As if I need any more clothes to try on. <laughs> Now, I, I don't really buy Killstar's jewellery. Um, why? Because I'm not too sure what the material of Killstar jewellery is. I'm not too sure if it's stainless steel or it's just nickel or it's titanium or it's pewter. I don't know. So I've never really been one for buying their jewellery. Although, I have wanted jewellery. I think I wanted the, the skull pin that was out with the chain. Now... I was going to buy, in fact I did order that and the necklace and the, the earring that went with it but I can't quite remember what went wrong with it I can't quite remember but I ended up cancelling my order because of it and then Jane Wilkes actually made me one in a friend mail because I've, I've, I've sent Jane Wilkes two friend mails now and the first, gem, uh, the first friend mail she sent me the brooch thing and I didn't really want to order the one from Killstar then because I, I preferred the one that Jay made me. So I just, I've just kept that. So I know they still do it at the minute, but I don't think I want it on my jacket now because I like that one. So, and if you can make it, why not? So it's come in a bag that just says Killstar. Um, I don't know how you get in it though. So this, guys, was £2.77, and it's the Mia Culpa 2 times finger ring. And I got it in a size 9. I had to guess, because I'm foggy as what my ring size is. But I remember Mama Goff telling me her ring size, and I think she's the same ring size as me, so I, I remember Mama Goff's ring size more than mine, and I don't think this is going to fit. <laughs> I don't have much luck when it comes to rings, guys, I've got to tell you. Especially when it comes to sizing. That ain't going to work either. Is one side bigger than the other? Oh, there we go. Ooh! That is pretty. If you put my thumb insert back into the thing. Yeah! That can be dangerous if it was on these two. You could actually be like... To have somebody with that just saying <laughs> um but yeah i like it it's cute it's got like 
what I'd call black spinel gems inside. It's very sparkly. It's very appropriate. It's a bit weird that it's sideways, don't you think? Like, wouldn't you thought it would have been going downwards, like down the hand? I would have said, but yeah. Now I can't put my other ring back on because this just looks stupid. Yeah. So there you go, guys. So that was it for my kill star. So my lovely cushion, my skirt, my top, and my ring. I will go and try them on, but I will need to cut that cotton off. Right, moving on. I did an order from um, Simply B. Two of the items I've sent back, guys, because they were humongous, and I was like, I've got big boobies, but not that big. I should have said titties, titties, but not that big. So, um, the woman on the phone was a little bit um, rude, a little bit abrupt, and she was like, um, oh, you've took it out of the main packaging, so you can't return it. And I was like, I know my rights. I've worked in retail a very long time, and I worked on like the complaints department here and there. And I'm telling you now, I have every right to send it back. I've not took it out of the actual packaging, like this kind of packaging. I said I've not taken it out of that, and um, I've not tried it on. So she went, well, how do you know it didn't fit? I went, well, I can tell by just looking at that and looking at the bra I've got on. That, that's two sizes too big. I says, and upon checking my bra, it's actually two sizes too big. I says, and the knickers are Brazilian knickers. I can't want, they look like thongs more than Brazilian knickers. They look like thongs. Nah. I'm old, guys. I've had my days of wearing thongs. I want full, full briefs now. Something comfortable. I like sloggies, to be honest with you guys. So, yeah. So, they went back. It was a leatherette bra. I put pictures up here. And a leatherette pair of Brazilian knickers. And I thought that with ring, like the, what are they called? Oh, I forgot what they're called. What the hoops are called. Oh, that's the tip of my tongue and I can't think of it. You'll see here. And you can say down below what they are because I can't remember. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, it was just way too big. But I did buy a hat. So I've got three hats now this is a fedora hat now this was I'm, I'm not going to have the information here am i no i've gone and left it downstairs sorry guys it's plain it's simple i can add to it if i want to it's no size it's a black catalog number double n double seven o and it's from simply b and it fits my head snugly so i have like a uh, gothic one which is like a round one it's a bit longer on the stem here and then i've got like a, a, a smaller hat and now i've got this hat so i've got three hats i really did want to buy the kill style one or was it the restyle one it might have been restyle actually but I, some people say well you're paying crazy price for, for one item there why not buy pay the crazy item for that there some things i'll i don't mind paying stupid prices for some things i just don't want to pay crazy prices and one of them is hats because i'm not a massive hat wearer guys some people say i suit it some people said i don't suit it but i don't wear hats very often so i don't want to pay a lot for it this was super cheap guys and we were at 12 pound or something if that i bought a top and these were all on the sale guys I think this, this might have been a little bit more expensive. I've got a size 16, um, USA size 12, EU size 44, and it just says a broidery vest. And I think it's really pretty, this. And I do have a skirt somewhere to match it, but I don't know where it is. I don't know if it's in the loft somewhere. Pack it away because it may have been a size 10. Who knows? I have got clothes at size 10 that I've not sold, that I just can't part with, that I've put in the loft in one of them Hoover bags. And I have got Hoover bags in there full of underwear that doesn't fit, but I won't part with them because they're brand new underwear. Crazy. So this is just a plain black top, guys. Just plain black top. But I liked the frill detail, like a lacy detail on the arm. I just thought it was really pretty. 
this actually I got to go with my green skirt that doesn't fit <laughs> but yeah I like this top it's plain it's just plain black top and it's a simply B top size 16 I think this was something like maybe 13 14 pound again I am guessing so I don't know guys I'm going to be trying these clothes on till next week I'm not looking forward to this try on <laughs> And then, last but not least, I got this item because I am having my chest tattooed at the beginning of July, first week of July, second week of July, by my brother. I got this top so I can put this on when I get my, my chest tattooed. I do want the trousers to these, I will admit. I'm not one for gym trousers, guys. They're not, it's not my aesthetic. I have owned them in the past. I just... I just don't like the way they look on me. I don't know why. Um, that's why I've not jumped into the, I can't remember what it's called now. Oh, it'll bug me now that. There's a there's a shop that Mama Goff and Heavy Metal Mama does that do gym trousers that are so fantastic. Wow, I may invest in them one day, but I can't go to the gym guys. I just don't see the point because what's the point in me pretending to wear gym clothes when I can't go to the gym? I can't even exercise because of my condition. So yeah, for that reason, I just wanted that. I just wanted this top so I could possibly wear it as maybe like a nighttime support bra. It looks comfortable. I like the way it looks. I like the way it's crisscrossed. I like the lilac and it's by Spot pink soda or pink soda sport yeah i'm gonna go have a look and see what the trousers are like but this is a size 18 guys i don't know why i got a size 18 i should have got a 16 again i'm just not thinking straight lately guys i'm really sorry but you know <laughs> lack of sleep or high blood pressure whatever it is i don't know what it is but i'll try it on I don't know what I'm trying it on with, but I'll try it on and see what it looks like. Um, if it is too big, guys, I don't... See, if I do try this on, I don't think I can send this back because this is classed as underwear. I think this was quite expensive. I think this might have been £25, if not lower. I'll stick it up here somewhere. And that was it, guys. That was all I got from Simply B. That was it. Just them few items and obviously the underwear that I sent back. And of course the hat, which passes the, the wear test. It's comfortable. I like it. There you go. All right, guys, take care of yourself and stay to the end. I'll go and try them items on and I will give you my opinion on both Killstar and Simply B and what I think of what I've bought, if I've made a good choice or not. Sometimes, guys, I will buy things just on a whim because I'm bored and I think, oh, God, yeah, I could do as one of them. I'll have that. Oh, I love that. And then, I, then it'll stay in the drawer for about six months, twelve months, three years, and then I sell it because I think I've never worn it. Why? Why did I buy it in the first place? I don't know. All right, guys, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Stay to the end.
Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and hit that like button if you like this video, because it helps me out and my channel. Take care guys, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now.